Assalamu alaikum everyone. Welcome to this highly anticipated video on the McKinsey Company's forward program. So let me tell you first, uh, the deadline for this year's batch is 14th May uh, and essentially it's only a day left. So uh, you should act fast and I would recommend applying side by side with, uh, with watching this video so that you don't, uh, you don't miss the deadline. So let me tell you first what is McKinsey and Company's forward program. This forward program is a totally free skills development program focused on soft skills. Uh, it is basically consists of five more, uh, five courses ranging from adaptability, resilience, problem solving, communication, uh, well-being, and relationships. And there is a lot uh, digital skills. Uh, it does not teach digital skills, but it gives you a framework. To learn the skills, uh, the hard skills that you want. So uh, this is a great opportunity. Let me show you why this is a, such a great program and such a useful. I have personally completed this program and I found it extremely valuable in my daily workplace life. Uh, here are the stats: 98% of uh, forward alumni recommend forward. 93% feel more confident in their soft skills. So uh, the greatest learning I had from this program was that on my adaptability. Uh, I have come to, uh, I know, uh, see challenges as a way to learn and that has greatly impacted, uh, increased my productivity at workplace. So uh, let me tell you first uh, the eligibility criteria so that you can determine whether you are eligible for it. So first of all, you should be residing in these countries where the forward is available. All countries of the African continent, these countries from the Middle East and Pakistan, Turkey, Azerbaijan, uh, US through non-profits only, and these countries of the Europe. So uh, the more uh, complete eligibility criteria is here. Number one, just as I told you, you must be residing in one of the countries where forward is available. So the th second criteria is that you must be employed, whether self-employed or working for another person, or you can be between jobs, uh, which can include any type of work experience, full-time, part-time, internship, apprenticeship, fellowships, etc. You should have five years of total work experience. You can have more than five years of experience, but you must not be involved in any managerial role. You must have uh, at least a secondary higher education degree, which is equivalent to inter or FSE as we call it in Pakistan. Lastly, you should have a basic English skills. It is not necessary to be uh, a great uh, English speaker, but you should have basic listening and uh, speaking skills to complete this program. Okay, so that is the eligibility criteria. Now let's quickly go through how to apply. Is It just takes three or five minutes to apply. So let's show you a demo. Click on apply now. It is telling you it is a free program. Select your country. Check your highest education level. So if you were a CA inter CAF qualified, you should use you should choose bachelor's degree. Current employer status. How many years of work experience do you have? Lastly, you should have a good command of English. Uh, please choose a personal email address, not an not someone that not a work email, but only a personal email. Re-enter your personal email. Enter your first name, middle name if you have one, and the family name. Choose your gender. Click on agree. Please confirm that your full name spellings are correct. Click on next. Now select your date of birth. Select the nationality, the nation in which you were born. Select your employer status. 
work at a large company, more than 250 employees, fewer than 250 you are a self employed person, you work at an NGO, or you work in the public sector, choose whatever is your role. And this is important, please make sure to type the correct legal name of the organization where you work. Okay. Choose the country of your organization. Now this is a short survey which is just totally varying on your selection. In fact, we can see uh, it has no stranger, no tough questions. They uh, select you for the program if you uh, meet their very basic eligibility criteria. So if you choose, you can select all of these uh, survey questions to I prefer not to answer or you can answer them if you want. It's totally up to you and it will not affect your application status. Do you have any affiliation and employment relation with McKinsey and Company? Select yes or no. So what did you have about the meeting? About the following program, you should choose social media because you are watching this video on YouTube. Uh, and if someone, some previous alumni of Harvard provided you with a refer code, you can enter it here. Otherwise, you can go ahead. Uh, lastly, if an organization told you about forward program this then you should write select yes and write the full name of that organization uh, the full name should be um, match, uh, matching with the one shown on that organization website otherwise simply select no uh, lastly you should acknowledge these things please read these things that basically say how forward uses your data uh, collects your data and uses your data and uh, yeah, this also means that you acknowledge that McKinsey forward program by completing this forward program you are not uh, offered you're not being offered an employment at McKinsey check this please read them and check this submit true and correct application you are not in a sanctions list last click on submit